Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and welcome back to yet another exciting episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. It might not be an exciting episode, um, I mean it might not be exciting, but Wind Waker does kind of get exciting eventually. Previously, we, um, we rushed through the Forsaken Fortress in one episode, just so that I didn't have to deal with it any longer. I skipped a treasure chest because it's like, I don't really want to get that treasure chest. I'm thinking it was just a joy pendant. I'll have to look it up. Why is there such a gap between Link and the wall? And look at that. You can easily walk into the wall more. Oh well, but anyway, the King of Red Lions right here rescued us. And this is Windfall Island. Welcome to Windfall Island, where we destroy flower beds and pick up the rupees within. And people don't care. <laughs> now, you can't really do much. I'm just going to kind of go to where you have to go. But something to keep in mind is that these uh, bushes right here can hold pots. Which contain rupees, so that's nice. Um, but actually, up here, there's somebody who actually um, used, who apparently mastered time travel or something. There's somebody up here who has mastered the art of traveling between games. It's Elvis. Oh, um, oh no, that's not it. That's just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't either. Oh. Oh dear, pardon me, pardon me guy. I was so fully and wholly absorbed in my dancing that I didn't even notice little old you standing there. I am top. Oh, you're not Elvis? Oh, okay. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You will come to know me as the world's Charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, two, one, two. Uh, say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance. A dance that turned night into day right before my very eyes. I can remember those fabulous dance moves, but... I can remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get that intricate rhythm down. Do you know the rhythm guy? No. No, I don't. Actually, if we go back here, there might be something. Oop. Nope. Mm, and here are actually some rupees. Now, if you couldn't tell, I was trying to mimic the Elvis. Thank you. Thank you very much. But I couldn't get it. Now, in here is a character from Majora's Mask. Now, in here is a character that originated from Majora's Mask. And, um, we actually have some pots in here. And then, yes, I broke them. Wait. That's a spoiler, I'm cutting that out. Ugh. I wonder who that is. Hey, who are you? Why do you spring back like that? Hmm, I see the same green clothes in the same green hat. By the looks of you, I'd say, sir, could you be a chance? A fairy? Goodness, did you just feel my telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry, Tingle knows. Without you telling him, sir, yes, sir. Tingle is my name. I've been looking for you and your kind for I too long to be one of the fairy folk. And yet I was mistaken for some kind of troublemaker and put into this dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful. Please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle from this place and take him to where you and your kind live in splendor. Um, nah. I'm actually gonna break these pots first. 
Oh, hold on. I gotta let Mitty out. Mitty wants to go outside of my room. Gotta, I have to get this rupee first. There we go. You know, I think instead of helping Tingle, I mean, he's, he really wants us to help him, but I think we should just leave. If Link can open the door. No, I can't just do that. I can't just leave him in there. Just, I feel bad. And plus, you get some items if you do rescue him. So I just... You have to talk to him again. Okay. Rapid... <coughs> okay. I didn't... Wait, how did I get all the way over here? Um... Okay. I'm just going to go press the switch now. Uh, teleporting is real, right? Uh. Yay! Hooray! Thank you so very much! Here's Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Tingle, Tingle, Kurulimpa. Become an item. He gave you the Tingle Tuner. If you get stuck or need a quick hint, connect a Game Boy Advance to your Nintendo GameCube to talk to Tingle. After connecting the Game Boy Advance to the controller socket 2, 3, or 4, set the Tingle Tuner to Y, Z, or X to call Tingle. Now, no matter how far we travel from this dingy cell, our souls will be as one. Splendid! Tingle is gonna get ready to go to the realm of the fairies, so you just wait here, okay, sir? Um, sure thing. Ah, I was forgetting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy, you want to come to my island, don't you, don't you, don't you? You got Tingle's chart. What kind of chart could it be? Head to your C chart. Um... I mean, head out to see, then press up on the D-pad, and check your charts to find out. Perfectly free. For free. When you go out to the sea, open it. If you ever need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't ever forget it. If you ever need help with charts, don't forget it. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go in here now. Pick up this old chair and throw it away. I mean, it already broke. So I'm, so I'm basically doing whoever else uh, is put in here next a favor. Because that chair would have broken in a few days. Or anyway. No! Ah, it's just a blue rupee. I might as well not try to get it I'm already at no get down link get down no no oh wait you don't oh you have to push R to grab in this game I'm <laughs> I'm used to um actually I think you did have to push yeah sometimes in this game game I think you have to push a you know Oh, you crouch. I think at some points in this game, um, like sometimes when you move blocks, you have to... Now, see that wood over there on the left? That is a rat. Ooh, rupees, go. Keep going. Keep going, Link. I know you can do it. Rupees are so pretty in this game. 
No, that's a rat up there. I want to turn this way. I don't even know where I'm going. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh, another blue rupee. Keep going, Link. I know you can do it. Um. Oh, here we are. Anyway, back to what I was saying about the um collectibles. Or no, grabbing blocks and moving them around. I, um... Ooh, oh, 10 rupees. Too bad I got rid of it. Um... See, I'm used to um, it telling you to push A to move blocks. Or to jump on them. Or, like, sometimes it'll have Link just kind of jump automatically like this. Well, not like that. But like it'll have them climb up automatically like that or you push a to grab and move the item whereas in skyward sword you push the a button and kind of move around items like that with the a button or you run basically most things in skyward sword are like tied to the a button as far as interacting with items is concerned like blocks and stuff Oop. And, um, can I get back here? Nope, oh, I don't think I did it. Whoa, I got through it. I didn't know if I could get through it. Okay, that's the first time I've ever done that. Glad I got that on camera. Wait, this is already up to 15 minutes? I've wasted a lot of time. Anyway, because Trigger Conroy's been playing Skyward Sword and I've been watching that, I'm uh, used to thinking that you have to push A to move blocks. But I've messed around for way too long now, and I need to get up here as soon as possible and get this item. You got the Picto Box. Set it to and use it with Y, Z, or X. It can hold up to a whopping three pictographs. Press R to view your pictographs. So what this does is it allows us to take pictures. I just have taken the liberty of taking a few pictures um, with the Picto Box, but I'm actually going to go back and uh, show you what happens when you go onto that, um, oh, that's just a mouse. When you go onto one of these wood things, what you can do is you can use these to go back to the, um, or to get out of here quickly, rather than backtracking all the way. So now I'm going to show you the pictures I've taken. I've taken three of them. A rock, the tunnel, and a skull. Macro photography for the win. What I'm going to do now is... Don't talk to me, please. I don't like talking to people for a lot. If that made any sense at all, I... Yeah. Now, I'm not sure if there's many side quests here right now. Oh, you can actually talk to people. Let's talk. When night falls around here, this place fills up with all these sour, swarthy sailors. 
In fact, there's this little boat called the Shop Ship that shows up at night and cruises around this island selling things. I'm not sure what the story is with that. I guess I'm trying to, what I'm trying to tell you here is that this town has many faces. The nice, pretty one that you see in the day and the darker, shadier one that you see at night. But I suppose that's too heavy as a concept for a younger youngster like yourself, eh? Hey! Uh, what? Okay, that was kind of weird. Can I? Oh yeah, we can talk to these guys. What are you looking at, bud? Hey, bud, what are you? Some kind of country person? Just look at that outfit. What a get up. Can I talk to you? This town is our turf. Turf of the world famous killer bees. Don't mess with us. Yay. Okay. Let's go tell the teacher. I mean... They look like they're kids that are in school, so let's tell the teacher about them. Hey teacher, can you help with that? Welcome to Miss Mrs. Murray's School of Joy. I don't think we've ever seen your face around here before, my young scholar. Are you a new pupil? Um, maybe. What can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk. I know it may look a bit flashy for a teacher, but I assure you that you I am one. How long has it been since I opened my school here on Windfall Island? Twenty years? Ever since then, I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. But I have a rather joyless problem. There's this delinquent... Okay, I'm recording. Good. Delinquent gang of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. Even though I wait patiently for those boys to show up, they just never come. It's almost as if they don't want joy in their hearts. Could you please catch their leader, that little boy named Ivan, and talk some sense into him for me? Please, young fat man, for me? Yeah? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're such a dear. They're such troublesome little boys. I'm at my wit's end over how to handle them. But if they but they won't be so mean to a boy their own age, will they? I should think not. Good luck good luck, young man. Well now we know what to do. We've gotta head out head back out here and talk to the kids. Maybe they'll do something. I don't know. But um right now I'm record right now I'm recording at twenty three minutes. And I think it's kind of a good time to end it now. Just because it's like kind of, uh, this is a side quest, obviously. Well, maybe it's not obvious, but this is a side quest that we have to do, and it's kind of a long one. It might take like ten minutes in the um, next video, so I think that's a good time to stop. That's what we're doing next time. Goodbye for now. Thank <laughs> you.
Yep. Yep. 